solve the system of nonlinear equations by graphing. So for any system of equations, we have three different methods for solving. We can always graph the curves and find the intersections from our graph. We can use substitution or we can try elimination. So we'll go ahead and solve this system by graphing. And first, it'll be helpful to think about what these curves look like. So the first curve, because we have an exponent of a 2, this curve is a degree 2, that tells us that this curve will be a parabola when we graph it. And the second equation has a degree of 1, so the second equation is linear and will be a line. We are looking for the intersection of a parabola and a line. Now before we actually graph these two curves, let's just think about how many intersections we may have. So you could have a parabola that opens up and a line that intersects it twice. Therefore we would have two solutions. Or we could have a parabola and the line could just barely touch the parabola. We call this line being tangent to the parabola where we just have one intersection, so one solution. Or you might have a parabola that never intersects with the line. Therefore, we have no intersections and no solutions. So we're anticipating either having two solutions, one solution, or no solutions. Those are my options for a system of nonlinear equations when one is a parabola and the other is a line. Let's begin with the parabola. We have x squared minus y equals 2. So let's go ahead and solve for y. I'm going to subtract the x squared, so we'll have negative x squared plus 2, and then divide by a negative 1. So this will give us the parabola y equals x squared minus 2. Now remember, this parabola now is in vertex form, or shifted form, and we can see our parent function is y equals x squared, and the parabola has been shifted down to. So that tells us the vertex of the parabola is at 0, comma, negative 2. So we can go ahead and plot this parabola. Vertex at 0, negative 2. And because the leading coefficient is a 1, there has not been any sort of stretch or compression. So we'll go ahead and graph this parabola. If you want to use that quick graphing method, you can go from the vertex, right one, up one and then from the next point, right one up three. And because I have room, I'm also going to go from this point, right one up five, to obtain two more points. So here's my parabola that opens up with a vertex of zero, negative two. Next, we want to graph the line. So it would be most useful if this line, 2x minus y equals negative 1, was in slope-intercept form. So same idea, I'll solve for y by subtracting 2x and then dividing by negative 1. y equals 2x plus 1. So this is a line with a y-intercept of positive 1 and then a slope of 2 which is 2 over 1. So from our y-intercept, we'll travel up to right 1, as well as down to left 1 to obtain some additional points. We want to be as accurate as possible since we're using our graph to actually solve the system. So the more accuracy, the better. You definitely want to be graphing on graph paper for systems of equations that you're trying to solve by graphing. And we can see our answers are going to be the intersection points. And it appears that we have two in this case. So your solution, in this case solutions, because there's actually two, the solutions for this system of equation will be the coordinate negative one, negative one, as well as the coordinate, let's see, that's one, two, three, right three and up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
That y value is 7, so that's 3 comma 7. And then just a reminder, if you wanted to check your answers, you could check these solutions by substituting them back into your original system of equations in either one. So for example, let's just say I wanted to check the coordinate 3, 7 to see if it is a solution. So I could go ahead and substitute 3 in to the top equation for x, so that would be 3 squared minus the y value of 7, and I just would want to check to make sure that that will equal 2. And indeed, we see that that's 9 minus 7, and that does equal 2. And then I can also substitute that point, that coordinate, into the linear equation. So 2 times y, excuse me, 2 times x, 2 times 3 minus y, which was 7, and just check to make sure that that equals negative 1. And indeed, 6 minus 7 does equal negative 1, so this coordinate does check out in both equations, therefore it is a solution.